What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. If you guys are not a subscriber already, make sure to smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today I have a very special episode for you guys. I'm gonna be unboxing the brand new Marantz Cinema 60. I've also done an unboxing of the Marantz Cinema 50 and soon the Cinema 40. So check out all those videos. I'm gonna help you guys make an educated buying decision when comparing all of these different models. I'm also gonna do side-by-sides comparing each unit against each other and weighing the benefits to the price point. I hope that you guys find this video informative. If you would like to purchase anything home theater related, make sure to reach out and show your support. We ship throughout the entire nation and would love the opportunity to earn your business. Okay, let's get into this unboxing. All right, before we go any further, I would like to point out Look at the box, guys. There's no labeling or anything on it other than the shipping label. That's because here at Dream Media, we go a little bit above and beyond just to ensure that your package gets to you with no damage. So we double box it, and then around every single side of the unit, we bubble wrap it. The manufacturer does a great job of packaging it up, but we take it a step further just to ensure that our customers get their product and can immediately set it up with no shipping damage. All right, check it out, guys. Bubble wrap on the top bubble wrap all the way around. All right, guys, let's dig in. Open it up. First thing you see is a Marantz kit here. We have a quick start guide. Then we have little advertising brochure on how the HEOS system works. HEOS is really great. It's multi-room audio. It has an application where you can independently stream music to all the different rooms throughout your house, including this AVR. I'm gonna get into some of the details of that in just a moment. You have your FM and AM antennas. You have your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas. Batteries for your remote. And then the Cinema Series has this beautiful remote. I like the gold ring, very elegant. All right, guys, we got it out of the box. Let's take a closer look at this bad boy. Let's run through some of the, the quick specs, guys. We have a 7.2 channel receiver, 100 watts per channel. Marantz has always been known to use their trickle-down technology on their higher and hi-fi brands for their Marantz AVRs versus the Denon AVRs. So you're gonna get much better build quality. You can even feel it just in the weight of the unit. But everybody that's heard the Denon versus the Marantz says that the Marantz is gonna come off more musical and warm, giving you a really nice audio experience. Now that we have the Marantz Cinema 60 out of the box, let's go over some of the details. This unit supports HDMI inputs and outputs for 8K at 60 Hertz, as well as 4K at 120 Hertz. This unit does have built-in Denon Heos for popular streaming services like Pandora, Spotify, or Tidal. One thing that I really enjoy about the Heos ecosystem is it comes built into these AVRs on both Denon and Marantz, giving you the ability to start a distributed audio system with no extra purchase. You guys know that we sell a ton of Sonos, and I have done a ton of Sonos videos promoting that particular brand. Well, think of Heos like Sonos, except for you don't need a Sonos port in order to start your ecosystem. So this amplifier here is going to include the ability to stream your audio to your 5.1 system or your 5.2.2 surround sound system, such as an additional zone like a patio, kitchen, dining room, or master bathroom. All right, guys, let's take a look at the back of the unit. First things first, you're gonna have the Bluetooth Wi-Fi antennas that I showed earlier. You just screw them in right here to connect to Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. If you don't wanna use Wi-Fi, uh, we recommend using the network connection, and that's just gonna make everything more reliable. Hardwired in is always the way to go. Up here, we got our digital audio ends, which are assignable within the programming of the amplifier. You got cable sat and media player as the default, TV, audio, and CD for optical and coaxial. You got a DC 
uh, 12 volt trigger right here out, and then you got a flasher in, RS-232C, uh, remote control in and out, audio in left and right, you got a ground signal, and then all your audio ins, which are assignable for analog connections, zone two, pre out, if you wanted to use a, a separate amplifier for zone two, and then you have your pre out for all of your surround sound, your full 7.2, this receiver can do Dolby Atmos DTSX. So 5.2.2 is gonna be really popular for a lot of you guys. You got your subwoofer one and subwoofer two. Got FM, AM antennas. Not a lot of people using that these days, but they still put it in there. We got our power over here, and then all of our speaker terminal connections right here. Front right, front left, center, surround right, surround left, surround back right, and surround back left. So this can either be configured as a 7.2 or a 5.2.2, or you could power up a 5.1 system in say a living room and power up a separate pair of patio speakers or kitchen speakers for zone two. Now let's talk about the HDMIs a little bit. You got a total of six HDMI outputs here on the back. Only three of them are 8K. DHCP 2.3, 4K inputs one through three. 8K, four through six, and then you got an 8K output for your monitor one, and then that does support ARC and eARC as well, and then your monitor two. So that goes back to what I was talking about down here with your speaker terminals. You can set this up as say a 5.1 in your living room, outputting to your 8K monitor in the living room, and then outputting a second HDMI to your patio TV. And that goes for really any zone too. So you would hook up surround back to the patio as I'm using this example, and then your monitor two would go out to the television. So you have complete independent zone control over both the main zone and the secondary zone. All right, now as we look at the front of the unit, you're gonna have your power button, input selector with a rotary knob, volume with a rotary knob, and then you have your setup mic here for your Odyssey, and then Pure Direct, DMAX, Zone 2, and Zone 2 Source hard buttons, as well as the tuner channel select hard buttons, the dimmer for the display, if you wanna turn it off, say it's bothering you, or turn it down. Um, you have your status and surround mode. Um, right here so you can toggle quickly between say music and movies and then you have your USB input here as well as your phono input for my hi-fi users that may be doing a two-channel hi-fi setup this unit would still be great for something like that but obviously we have other products that we would recommend if you're going to be doing strictly two-channel hi-fi this is a surround sound AVR all right, well that does conclude my quick unboxing and overview of the brand new Marantz Cinema 50. I hope that you guys enjoyed this content and found it informative and in helping you make a buying decision. Now keep in mind, this was just a quick unboxing and overview. I'm gonna take a deep dive into this unit, go through the menu settings and do a setup in my game room upstairs. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel for all of that exciting content. I'm also gonna be cross comparing this unit against the Cinema 50 and 40 whenever available. So stay tuned to the channel for that. All right guys, if you like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.